Hello and welcome to another episode of Gear Toward Gear. My name is Sean and as always I am so glad you're here. Thanks for joining me. Today uh, we're going to just take a quick look at these new scales that I put on a mini Griptilian. So these scales are from a company called Advanced Weapons Technologies or AWT. I learned about them on Instagram, just recently bought these. This is the first day that I've had them on the knife and I just wanted to share them with you, kind of show you what they look like and uh, talk about them briefly. Uh, I'm also gonna be selling a mini Griptilian on another video, which I'll probably post immediately after I post this video, so stay tuned for that. But today we're here to talk about these scales. So the price, we'll start with that, because that may just kind of turn you off and you can, you'll can you wanna leave the video, but they, they go for around 80. I think I paid like $80, maybe 85 with shipping. And that's going to be true whether you get the mini Griptilian or the full-size Griptilian. So I guess that is nice if you have a full-size Griptilian that you don't have to pay any more than for the mini. Uh, and that's just an example of how much bigger the full-size is compared to the mini. Um, so yeah, they are aluminum. And I bought these for a couple reasons. One, I had seen and heard some good things about these on Instagram. Aluminum's not my typical material of choice. I generally prefer G10, FRN, glass-filled nylon, titanium, really anything but aluminum, to be honest with you. I, I don't have a ton of aluminum stuff, um, and so I figured, what the hell, let's uh, give them a shot, see how they hold up. Um, as far as quality is concerned, they seem to be very well made. The tolerances when putting these on were very, very tight, really excellent fit and finish, kind of the way everything uh, comes together, like the liners and the scales here. The only real uh, thing I could point to is that the backspacer here isn't quite flush. Um, it is kind of on the butt of the knife, perfectly flush, but it's not perfectly flush as we get up here. So that is what it is. Um, that could just be my example. I've seen a bunch of pictures of these that are just flawless all the way around. So uh, it's not enough to bother me to, uh, you know, it doesn't bother me enough to, to really care, I guess is, is what I'm saying. So quality wise, I think they're great. The fit is really good and they're super comfortable. And what's interesting is that they are not the same shape as a mini Griptilian scale. Uh, they're fundamentally different actually which is unique because most aftermarket scales are a direct replica of the profile of the factory scales. So here's the scale that came off of the knife. It's kind of hard to see because it's black. Here's a, another mini Griptilian, which you'll be able to see more easily. And this is the one that's gonna be for sale here pretty soon. Um, if you'll notice, the standard griptilian uh, scales are very much rounded towards the butt of the knife and they're much more squared off here on these advanced weapons technology scales uh, it doesn't have kind of as much of a sweep downward as you do on the standard mini griptilian scales so there is kind of your difference in profile which uh, i think is interesting and i actually really like a lot actually the profile on these awt scales so let me take the original scale that I took off, lay it on top and kind of show you what you're gaining in real estate. So if you'll notice on the back end of the knife here, um, that's the real estate you're gaining, right? Where that lanyard, lanyard hole is uh, compared to the factory scale. You're also gaining just a hair on this corner, if you can see that, and a, just a bit right there near the, uh, the finger choil. So uh, yeah, it's, it's a larger scale in dimensions. It's more boxy, which I actually kind of like. There's nothing wrong with a standard Griptilian profile. It looks really nice, it's popular, it's been around for decades. Uh, it doesn't need replacing by any means, but uh, I just want to give these a try and I kind of like the, the more squared off look. I think it looks attractive and just gives it a different personality than it had before which is kind of one of the reasons uh, that people like to customize their knives, right? Give it its own personality. And so that's what I chose to do here. As far as comfort, it's extraordinarily comfortable. Uh, despite the fact that it's more boxy and more squared off, it's thicker um, in dimension than a standard mini Griptilian. Uh, if you can see that, it is definitely thicker, not by a ton, uh, but it's definitely thicker. So for someone with big extra large hands like me, it feels quite comfortable. 
and all of the angles, although it's very boxy in nature, all of the angles, and I can probably get the light to kind of hit it just right, there we go. All these angles right here are chamfered very slightly at a 45 degree angle. So there are no true 90 degree transitions, no sharp edges. It's very much comfortable in the hand. It's very hand filling. And I really like the way they, they feel a lot actually, uh, quite a lot. There's a uh, bevel there at the finger choil for your index finger. So I am a, I'm totally digging the comfort level. Uh, and that kind of surprised me a little bit. So uh, first impressions after having them on for a day and carrying it for a day are, are really quite good. Uh, so here's where kind of the rubber is going to meet the road, and that's going to be durability, right? Aluminum, when it gets dinged up, looks kind of dingy, and, and that's okay. I mean, if your knife is, if you use it, and it kind of gets that, that personality um, over time, that's totally cool. I'm just wondering how quickly it's going to happen with the uh, aluminum. So I'm going to carry it every day for at least a week, seven to ten days, I'll say, and see how they hold up. And if they get all scratched and dinged up, that's totally cool. I'm not gonna go out of my way to damage them, um, but I, I truly wanna see under normal conditions how these will hold up after carrying it for a consecutive week. Another thing I'm gonna do, which may sound insane to you, um, the, uh, I, the way I understand it is that the owner of the company has stated that these aluminum scales are strong enough to hammer a nail. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna actually hammer a nail with these scales and see how the scales hold up, see how the function of the knife uh, holds up. Uh, not something I would typically do because it, it will for sure damage the finish. And I'm okay with that. It's gonna give it some personality, whatever. And I'm assuming that after a week or 10 days, you know, I wear a ring on this hand, I keep other things in my pockets. It's gonna get some scratches and that's totally fine. I've kind of made peace with that on a number of my knives, like my Sabenza. The titanium scales on my Sabenza are covered in snail trails. They're a little harder to see, but it is what it is, right? I carry the knife and I use it, so who cares? So stay tuned for that. I will post photos and, and probably a short video of me hammering a nail with this. For sure on Instagram and Facebook, uh, I may do a follow-up here on YouTube after about a week or so to let you know how they held up. If I'm still enjoying them as far as the comfort level and uh, see if it was able to uh, to pound a nail. So that is it. That is the AWT Advanced Weapons Technologies basic aluminum scales. They come in a bunch of different colors uh, and you can customize it both the scale color and the backspacer. This color just as an FYI is what they call cobalt blue and the backspacer is what they call gunmetal gray. So that is it. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will talk to you soon.